I uh, I'm really just getting up to speed. I did not know who this girl was before a few minutes before that we started. Happened. I love her. And uh, I know exactly who she is. I love. Her. I was like, we have to talk about Samira Khan. I'm like, who is this chick? I've never heard of oh. her. Jealous um, but Betty Biatch. Our friend of the show, friend of the friends, uh, actual friend, Star Wars girl. Imagine being Anna. this with jealousy. So this is from Samira Khan, who I guess is a, a person of note on Twitter. Why do we care about her? I don't know. She's a foreign policy Oops. analyst, news correspondent, Kadrov Stan. I don't know what that is. Something. All titles she gave herself. Well, a big, yeah. bitter, big <laughs> following. And she looks high maintenance. Just from the photo, the profile photo alone looks extremely high maintenance. Anybody can say oh, they're a foreign God. policy analyst, okay? True. Yeah. News yeah. correspondent. She watches Twitter. So, yeah. So this is a clip that supposedly a lot of people have issue with. Read what she wrote. Father she says, friend. this accent needs to be illegal and women should be banned from doing manual labor like this. There is nothing feminine about American women. American women are literally men. That's a bold claim. Okay. Yeah, she says this accent needs to be illegal. But here's the thing that's funny. She lives in America. She's from Jersey. This which... chick is from Jersey. Samira's? Yes. yes. Wow. <laughs> she was Miss New Jersey. Miss New Jersey. She was a pageant person. How did you come to know about her? I came to know about her because she blocked me on Twitter when I liked a comment that somebody wrote, she was like talking about how if you're married or if you have a boyfriend, you should not have a Twitter account or an Instagram account. And then somebody commented like, well, speak for yourself then. Why do you post on Instagram? And I just liked that. All I did was like that comment and she blocked me. So she's beauty queen turned anti-woke journalist Samira Khan claims the Taliban is worried about Andrew Tate and wants oh. the influencer freed because Westerners are oppressed by oh, feminists. God. All right. Uh, she seems like a real handful. Yeah, uh, that's a lot. Miss <laughs> New Jersey. New Jersey. See, this all fanciness that, that was shrouding her has melted away. When I hear New Jersey, I go, oh, you're one of us, bitch. You're just like me. <laughs> <laughs> you are biologically similar to that of a Long Islander. We are the same. Like, we, we are made of the same cheese and self-tanner. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So oh my know. God, Andrew Tate called her wifey. That's all I needed to know. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we just we just know that she is uh she's claiming to be anti woke. Wow, it's a lot of a lot of a lot of everything here. Former beauty queen from Jersey. Um, I guess what she's trying to be this trad con chick. Is that her? That's her identity. I don't know what she is. She's engagement farming. But she has. You know, I look she at this is, chick yeah. just out the gate. I think of Melanie Mack. I think of like this yeah, girl, cute you know? southerner, like do it yourself or fucking works on a farm, like useful as fuck. Just from looking at her, I go, this is not a chick who sits around. Yeah. Naturally, really cute, barely any makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So Tits. what could be so horrible about this this girl here? Good morning, y'all. Quick update on the house because I've been pretty terrible about giving y'all these. <laughs> Um, we took a little break for noodling season and to put out boxes. Now that it's dried in, we can do it. First of all, I love her accent. It reminds me of saddle up, partner. Saddle up, partner. <laughs> You're about to get wet. He's like pulling Deep grease string out of a cat's ass. Right. Yes. Hannah Very Brown built, built this. Hannah love Brown built accent. this house. This is who is in the video is Hannah Brown. She Hannah Brown went viral. I don't even know how. I a few years ago ish. Because she caught a catfish and a monster with her her bare hands, and she I has, remember remember this. that. And she has yes. her hand like in the catfish's penis. mouth through the gills, not like the gills themselves, but there's a gap on fish between the gills and and the mouth. And so she has her hand through it, and she's talking. And this catfish is, I mean, huge. And she's talking about this catfish, and she she turns it and she shows the teeth of the catfish, and she's mm -hmm. okay, but the guy that's with her the group of people that's with her is like all cut up from these teeth that's where that's where she went viral she's a big gun girl she went to shot show this year in vegas like she's just she's so stinking cute and i love her she's she's very hunt, authentic she's, 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 she's like this yeah. is my life you know i was yeah. you know i didn't get she's cut right. up by the catfish and those things have pincers for, for they teeth, do for which i didn't yeah. know until i saw her video i was like oh yes God, what the heck so I it's the boy her. run media being like, well, mm -hmm. she, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And so she boyfriend. basically 
She's the Steve Irwin of catfishes. Yeah. Yeah. Except um, she's like the country version and much prettier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, yes, she's the, Steve, she's like the, rest the country of version of Steve Irwin. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. she's it's home repair. Oh my God. How horrible. Or noodling season and to put out boxes. <laughs> Now that it's dried in, we can do it at our own pace. But here she pipe. is. We're going to stain all that wood a darker yep. brown. And the shutters, when we get that on, <laughs> we'll have handrails, of course. There's the carport over there. Quick run through. There's a great theory. All these trusses are going to be exposed. And we're going to have old tin in the ceiling. Ooh. Got Daddy and Paul up there working on a wall we're going to put up for the this upstairs so office. This fucking cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah, definitely playing in the background, of course. <laughs> Back porch. He works hard to recycle Diddy. And then the walkway to the carport. Ooh. <sighs> I'll try to be He's better so about cute. these. But you can also use my code HANNAH25 for 25% off We the People holsters. Hope y'all have a good one. I appreciate y'all. Love her. I love, I love her. her so much. I love her. Yeah, She's what is the gun in the She's great. <laughs> What is unfeminine about this? First of all, it's aesthetics. It's uh, we all played with dollhouses growing up. This is basically that, but bigger. It's a and this woman women. is not disingenuous whatsoever. I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the South. There's she can't. I I swear to you, she can't help but speak like this. And grew yeah. up probably yeah. working with her dad, and just goes like, you know what? Right, right. I'm I'm gonna I'm a put my life on TikTok just like everybody else does. Right. You know? Wow. So that's not not feminine. Look at her. Yeah. Like, she's cute. Off. It's not like she's yeah. frumpy. She's not dressed like a fucking dyke. Like she's got her sleeves cut out. She's got like a little crop top going on. Like even if she were like some like burly lesbian, maybe less people would watch her on TikTok. But the appeal is that she's not and she's cute yeah. and like She's just doing her thing. There is no problem with this. This is ridiculous no. to have any issue. So that girl is mad that she looks. She's got barely any makeup on here. I'll this sit is her with makeup. makeup. She's stunning. Yeah. It's, this is, it's uh, that's that's the problem. Is this girl is so how many mad that I on... do I have to feel up to look like this? All right, like what? she's cute. Those Don't tell things. me that's not feminine. Don't tell me that's not yeah. feminine. She Here's can take it out. And she can dress like this. Settle down. Yeah. I'd marry Being her. feminine is not about how you look and how you dress. It's an attitude. It's yeah. being kind and friendly and approachable. That's the feminine energy that <laughs> men are attracted to. It's like, oh, when she's in the room, there's a lightness. There's this air of, oh, she's smiley. She's sweet. Like she brings, she uplifts the room. And you could tell. That she, you could just feel her authentic, kind energy right. through this. And Even again, though, yeah. her eyebrows look great. It's not like they're not kept up. <laughs> right. I have Shakira them micro is, and whatnot. And every construction worker armor. in that barn, when she walks through with no makeup on at all, is completely erect. They can't oh, help yeah. it. Even though, <laughs> I mean, completely. They're like, we shouldn't be erect. We don't know why we are. <laughs> It's but really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of wood, it's so true. Look, that this man's is very right. impressive. What she's <laughs> able to do. She's not doing this by herself. It's with her dad, who she clearly has a good relationship with. Jealous. No, he's she, not. No, no kidding. Uh, yeah. But she's that's the original good. poster. She's so right. jealous. Hey, See, I'm this absolutely jealous, jealous of this. This, this is makeup. the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Like, you oh, know cool. that she has great self-esteem. Yes. No man's ever going to make her feel bad about herself. No. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever. No, she's. Samira is take wants to say this stuff about her because she does have her own insecurities, which is why Anna's Literally. little meme was absolutely perfect. Yes. Meme? Did you see Anna's meme that she made? A post that you shared. Yeah. Of Anna's. Um, uh, uh, exit out of this. <laughs> I am learning how to internet. Frank Thanks. said she responded <laughs> to Samira, sent it to the group chat, by the way. Yeah. There it is. Oh, that's Mr. There you go. There you go. That it's um, what is this? Cruella? No, not no, Cruella that's Dizel. Evil Witch. Evil Witch and oh, Snow, and she's Snow, and Snow White. White, huge catfish. 
Look at that what? catfish. That thing that, is huge. Th is that a catfish that has legs? legs? Yes. She put oh her freaking God. fist through its mouth. It was like, this is like, a catfish. So we it were like, what the? It's a moto dragon. And again, Alexandra <laughs> is also very beautiful. But you know what's mm. not beautiful? Hating on another woman and being a bitch. Like, I'm sorry. It's just, it's and not a no practice. reason. No it reason comes at off all. very cunty. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It comes off very evil witch. But you know yeah. what? Samira is what I would call. She's like, she's sexy, right? Because she knows how to put on makeup. She's feminine that way. But like, look at this picture with her with this insane catfish. That's so much personality. She's cute. She's useful. She has hobbies. You're like it's not trying too hard. No, not, not at all. Catfish that she just caught with her bare hands. Bare yeah. Hands. yeah. Again, they're both very beautiful, but who yeah. exudes more femininity? It, it's not a look. It's an attitude. Yeah, because that's how people feel. I'm sorry, Samira. Even though she is very gorgeous, to me is more masculine by being a bitch, like being more cunty. That's like a masculine Amen. kind right. of attitude. And the girl underneath, even though she doesn't have any makeup on, okay, she could put a bunch of makeup on and look just as beautiful with or without. But it's not the makeup; it's her attitude. She has this lightness. Mm -hmm. It's like she walks in the room, and you're like, "Oh, she's fun." And it's not like, "Oh." I don't know. It's, I think, I just think Samira's cunty. Because Catfish Chick, yeah. she's like, oh, look how much I'm getting done. But guess what? What? Think about your favorite women in your life, your favorite mom, grandma, friend's mom growing up. What were they? They were always busy making something, cooking mm -hmm. something, putting it, stuff out for people, hosting. Mm -hmm. And she's, I mean, what's more like, I'm building a fucking house. Like, what's more welcoming and feminine than like building something that's going to be. Uh, for other people to use and enjoy. No, and also, or, I no. I really don't like how she's like, oh, this accent, and it's like, dude, Fuck off with that accent thing. Oh my it's god, like, that's just how she speaks. I swear to yes. God, they, I, everybody I grew up in the south with, my best friend Wesley, she's like, what do you mean? Do I, I have an accent? Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> they don't know. They're like, they're like, what well, you you mean? I, yeah, I Keanu, like, I have an accent. I'm like, well. Yes, I suppose you do. <laughs> also, with the with the catfish fish lady, she's like, it's the archetype of the girl next door. Okay, yeah. men mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, they just do. There's no one way any woman has to be or should be. But for another woman who is, um, uh, evil uh, woman in a tower looking down upon a lady. <laughs> You don't need to disparage this woman with a with a southern accent building a house with her dad catching catfish if it makes her happy. That's it. Yeah. She's like, adorable. She's not right. trying at hard. She's not trying hard at all, which is something that a lot of men like. And but it's uh, not yeah. even that because it could even be argued like she has so many skills and so many things that she could do that in some ways that should be intimidating to a man. Like not every man could just approach her. I mean, she can build a fucking house. Like she yeah. doesn't need your house. She could build a house, which is so impressive. She can hunt and cook and kill things for herself. Yeah. And that's, that that's is hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You, yeah. She and it also helps that she's survive. like a total dime. I guess we'll say. Yeah. She is, <laughs> she is the ultimate, like literal homemaker. <laughs> she literally oh, yeah, made the home and now she's maker. going to. Okay, honey, you go to work. I got this. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? was like, if she was not genetically blessed, um, we, yeah, you know. But so let's go. Yeah. What, what does Samira think is the ideal woman? What if, you oh, know, gosh. if being a redneck is not acceptable, if being a hands on is not acceptable, what does she think? She says, Lebanese women are literally perfect and they are oh. actually feminine. Unlike estrogen deficient American women who hold the record for highest testosterone levels in the world. Somehow. Well, okay, she's not wrong. She's not wrong at that. She's not wrong at that. We do have a lot of testosterone. Okay, but so this is what she thinks it's feminine is sitting that, there. That's not feminine. That's rich. <laughs> that's, I have a lot of fucking money. And which is wonderful. She's hot. She looks gorgeous. But that is, I've got money. Yeah, that's not feminine. This huge dress. You that can afford rich. a wedding dress that can stand up on its own. 
like one of those Barbie cakes. She, she's <laughs> right. Lebanese women are just literally so fucking rich. Yeah. That's what it is. She went to she went to greet her wedding dress. Her wedding dress was literally standing up and said hello to her. That's yeah. money. They just yeah. they just airlifted her into it after that. Yeah. She got right into a helicopter and then they just they This is not right a dress. Down. This is a room. You're wearing this is like only the very wealthy can afford to be this fucking uh, like immobile at a sure, fancy yeah. event. It's very quinceanera. I mean, come on, it is. get out, please. Stop. You only turn fifteen once. That's okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's so feminine? Sitting there and letting gays put makeup on. You. <laughs> and also, when people are like, "Oh, which one do men like more?" They're like, "Obviously, the girl who can build a house." You have to own a fucking gas station to even talk to this one. The <laughs> yeah. fuck are you talking about? Like Bucky's. Yeah, you better own Bucky's. You better own a jet plane before you, you even approach you this better, Lebanese you one. Be Bucky before you. You, are, <laughs> you have to be you the a, CEO of Seven Eleven to even. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that which is one would you prefer? I don't know. Your your bank account can't afford this one. I'm telling you that. And no, also, I feel like. All the men watch this and their wallets clench up like an asshole clenching up. You know, like a scared asshole. Like that's how I feel how a man's wallet is when they see this woman. This woman is generational wealth. This the family has a jet plane. They are part of the one percent. And she is gorgeous. Of course. This She's is better big, be. This is big clit energy, undeniable. And no, this is and I have access to my but- father's so black well. card that I need to spend a hundred thousand dollars on every year so that he can avoid taxes money. This is what that is. Yeah. And we have to agree. Also, this is if either of these women were actually ugly, naturally, then all of this would be null and void. The, the catfish chick is naturally beautiful. You know what I mean? So is this woman and she cakes makeup on her face for some reason and has a problem with the catfish woman because she's like, I maybe I want to be one of the regular people as well. Like, well, <laughs> and also money. people forget that there is wealth is not just about money. There's wealth and knowledge. The fact that she is knowledgeable in how to build a house, knowledgeable in how to hunt, knowledgeable in the fact that her family members, like she has a good relationship with her dad who knows how to put up a wall. Look at this guy's face. You're He's telling like, me you don't Wee. see fear. <laughs> You you're not telling me you're not looking at his face. He's like fuck. He looks like he's got cousins because they keep the money in the family, and you have to be part of the family with the gas station money. That is her third, second cousin. Okay, and then that is that is. He's he's going like this. He, look he happy like or to, I'll kill you. Like he's about happy. to be holding in the same fart for the next forty years. <clears throat> They'll never be comfortable again. That is her, her cousin. This is her cousin. Yeah, because they they keep they keep all the money in the family. Okay, he owns five gas stations, and he was told he needs to marry this one. If this is what she's accustomed to, like if if you're getting you know all this shit as a teenager or twenties or whatever your dad is giving you, what could another man possibly do to top that? You know, or or hold a candle to that? This guy like doesn't how- even look like he bones her good, like. Jesus, I don't, I don't know. No, she's so happy, though. But Look, you oh have God. to be married. He, he, she probably has to be married. Of course right? she's happy. She's rich. Yeah. She's <laughs> never had to struggle. Are you kidding me? No, I mean, that dress was married, standing right. in itself. You know what? Uh, who wouldn't have a smile like that? You had a whole makeup team. You didn't have to put it on yourself. No, nope. you didn't. She's she's gotten a full 12 she hours of clean sleep. Come out of her eyelashes. No, she she's got her. A, She's she got didn't a maid. use the photo. She looks like a toddler in a tiara, like that, that level of makeup. And she didn't even choose the look that looked good on him. He just looks <laughs> like, I don't. Right. He, he looks, looks like, in pain, poor yeah, guy. I just and got it, here. You know what? I'm not hating on her. Good for her. She gets to be a princess. But this is not how everybody is living. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, look look. Out, this room is scary. Like this room is Why do you have so many dresses? What is going on? Because this is what Lebanese <gasps> Wait a second, are these all different wedding dresses? Mm, no. no. No, I, I think it's like maybe like a rehearsal and a, I don't know, but one. it's so all one dresses. wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, these are her friends in other dresses. Oh, thank God. I was like, geez, oh. 
That makes more sense. This is I mean, she she is absolutely stunning. She, she is, is pretty. She, you know why? Because she's never been stressed about money. No, that is the face of someone who's never like, do I have to suck dick for rent this month? No, that is the face <laughs> of the person who's, yeah, literally like, she's never had to not been able to eat. No. She doesn't order from the dollar menu, okay? No. She does not. That is not a dollar menu face. That is, she's never, look at those hands. They've never held a cup of ramen at 2 a.m. No, absolutely mm -hmm. not. She flies on a private jet. And good for her. And is this peak femininity? I don't know. You know what? It might there be. There can I'm be both. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is like you said, it's all Yo, money. You know what? No, this is actually, look how happy she is. That is a face of, I don't have to work. I don't have to look the, the thing, thing is, in. I don't I think she actually done. looks that happy. I think this is all for, you better make me look. It's like when I go like, okay, girls, laugh in this photo. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is all Kiki. for the gram. Yeah. I'm sure. No, I, I don't know. I think this is, is real, This is not joy, genuine though. happiness. Like, this I've is seen for her. I, that marble. Yeah. I follow a couple on TikTok, Ashley and Kevin, and oh. her photos, she released her photos from their wedding, and she is literally like ugly laughing with like the the spittle, like when you open your mouth, not drooling, but yeah. like when you open your mouth. She literally, she literally is so happy that she doesn't even care about that. Right. So uh, you this, know what I mean? She is ugly laughing. She is right. just genuinely having a good time. That to me says happy. This I, I don't know. Some people are just not so I'm with you, Keanu. No I'm with you, Keanu. Keanu. I'm, with I'm not saying this woman some isn't people, happy. Not, but this some people right are here when so she says this TikTok happy. This is laugh. TikTok happy. No, yeah. this is no, I'm just telling you, there are some people that are really attractive that they that there's no such thing as an ugly laugh for them because they just look that good. I think okay. I think she is genuinely happy. She's I rich, sure but she also looks so happy. happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. arguing. I think, you know what? Both these chicks are big femininity. Both of them I'm envious of. Yeah. But you know, both of them, number one, the girl who can build a house, she's got a strong enough back to do that. I think that's fucking yeah. awesome. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> this bitch who's got this, wherever she's at, that place, I mean, I can I can smell the money from this <laughs> video. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> How can, Obviously, I mean, course, like, money yeah. happy. It's TikTok happy. This is TikTok happy. Right, she's no, like, but no, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Money yeah. happy. She doesn't yeah. need the TikTok. She's she's, she's part know. of the one we percent. Like, but TikTok. she needs she it. Okay, for I'm gonna something. tell you. Right. I've, I've hung yeah. out. I've had Lebanese friends before. What? They, is, what's their? Why are they so special? They're part of the one percent. Right. And I'm telling you, she's I not even. And I'm telling you, Tugs, she's not even showing us. The this real one? nice shit. This is just the, the oh, nice yeah. that they're like, oh, what do you we'll mean? allow you. What other nice this shit? This is the Airbnb. <laughs> this is not an Airbnb. This is a $120,000 wedding. More than that. Probably more than that. I think the dress was probably 50 grand. I'm telling you, her, her father owns multiple gas stations, probably owns a Ritz Carlton. This is the kind of money that all of us here gas are not even fully a Ritz capable of. I'm just saying, you, you guys, we can't even fully comprehend what it's like to have that kind of money, let alone be born into that kind of money and have had that kind of money the entirety of your life. We, you I agree what I'm saying? with like, you. I agree with you. We're just, all oh, we're yeah. saying is that <laughs> She's obviously happy. It's just the, uh, it's just. Is the, she genuinely happy or is she? Uh, I yes, can see the so. she is. Why are we at playing the happy. happiness <laughs> Olympics? I don't think she's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm calling. This, 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 you know, Samira's right. I have <laughs> changed. This is peak femininity and you have to be born into it. Okay. <laughs> this, this is what this is. You know, I want this. I think this is great. I deserve this. Lila, that dress would swallow you. Absolutely. Yeah, Lila, you would have to stand on a ladder. 
No, you'd be on the ground. Like the dress would be totally covering you. You could maybe stick your head out the tip oh, part. Oh my no. God. They're okay. both feminine. This is I'm all about ridiculous Fuck to the compare catfish. the two. I yes. want catfish That's to serve true. to me. That's true. You don't want the catfish life. You want this life? Yes, I want this. Life. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. Look at the community note she on is this. It's beautiful. He was community oh. noted. Estrogen varies <laughs> by many factors. <laughs> Average national age, weather, and diet can change levels. There is no evidence that the USA has low estrogen or holds the record for highest female testosterone. Oh, my God. She was noted. She's oh lovely. My God. Catfish lady is lovely. I don't understand why we're- You know what? Catfish lady is yeah. approachable by every man. Every. I okay. went out of the lady. <laughs> Somebody who owns Bucky's. I'm scared to even play the TikTok. I don't even feel good enough to hit play on the TikTok. Exactly. But, but Samir, Sim, Samira, Samir, is that how you say it? Just call her Samir. I just need my okay. phone to be Yeah, right her. Phone. She doesn't look, she looks like the girl, if, if I was a guy, and I'm not, but I'm going to pretend I am. If I saw her in a bar, I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> that one's super You'd high like, maintenance. Ooh. That one's going to be like, I need an allowance of like 10 grand a month, et cetera, et cetera. If I saw Hannah Barron across the bar, I'd be like, she's probably shotgunning beers, having a good time. I don't know if she drinks, but I'm just assuming. She's shotgunning beers, having a good time, doing whatever. That's the one I'm going to go for. This sure. is what I always <laughs> say, though. We're all shades of gray. Some dudes yeah. are going to be attracted to we'll the fucking catfish girl. <laughs> Look at her tits. Some dudes are going to be attracted to the, the princess of 7 Eleven. Oh, I mean, hey, she's like, now with that dude with no hair. Just what it is. <laughs> but yeah. this chick, if you Anna, keep watching this video, she'll show you their teeth, which I didn't even know they had teeth. And now I'm never touching a catfish. The again. thing about oh, catfish wow. is, like, they're so weird. They, like, they live in they're the so mud. Funky. Yeah. It's the weird. Is, women are divided into two groups. The woman that will stick her hand down a drain and pull out a hairball <laughs> and the woman that won't. You know, that's that ultimately that? what it comes down to. Yeah, pretty much. This one's going to stick her hand down the drain and also clean the drain while she's down. There. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. She's just so cute. And I think she's just so nice. She's so cute. Your teeth. She's what the heck is that? What? I want it. Is this peak Whoa. femininity? I don't think so. No, I, I'm, I've, I've, uh, Samir has turned me. She's turned you. Oh, yes. She's turned me. You know what? She's turned me. I think she's she's just, let, let me just tell she's you. I think she's a cunty there. bitch, but I will <laughs> explain she's what she means in a, in a nicer I'm way. What she means. Well, it's, it's, it is true. If you were at a bar, you would, everybody would approach Hannah because she is approachable and nice. Not a lot of people would approach Samir or the other girl because they look expensive. But right. then again, do you want every guy to approach you? No. Or do you want the guy that can afford you to approach you? I'm sorry, but this bitch is fucking, she has huge tits and she's hilarious <laughs> she's and has a fuck. southern accent. She's okay. Got, her she's body's great. great. I'd marry her. Yeah. Look at her fucking arms. Yeah, she's, she's, tan, she's, she's absolutely fun. charming and adorable. That is feminine. She is yeah. she's it is reaching into a catfish that lives in the mud. Okay. <laughs> they live in the mud. I marry this teeth, one. Like a piranha, like pincers. And she has her tits out, basically. That is femininity. That at 100 percent is femininity. So is Princess of 7-Eleven. <laughs> but they are both feminine. It's peak mm. femininity. We're all shades of yeah. gray. Some people would go for this. Some people would go for that. That's it. I mean, yeah. neither are fucking not. If you put any of, if you put either of them on Simcast, every man in this chat would be erect for the next week. That's it. <laughs> yes. That's it. That is femininity. Okay. I mean, 100%. She could bring the catfish on even and everyone would be erect. They're both. Yeah. Some people might want to fuck the catfish. It's true. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to do a poll. I want to do a poll on my uh, on YouTube here to to do Catfish Lady versus Seven Eleven Princess. Okay, but also you need to put a caveat in there. You will have enough money to afford Seven Eleven Princess. Because here's the thing: yeah. of course, everyone's going to choose Hannah. She seems nice and approachable. You cannot choose the Seven Eleven Princess if you don't own a Seven Eleven. So I'm going to say, make this poll: That's true. If money is no option. Who would you choose? Right. 
Yes. If they had money. Yeah, money is no option. Them. Who would you choose? Yeah, yeah. I or if Seven Eleven Princess was some in an unrealistic world, a semi normal. If, if money world. is no option, I marry the catfish gal and then I just bone the You bang the seven eleven girl on the side. On the side. Yes. <laughs> and there are no one big board. Board. Here's yeah. the thing though. I don't know. I still feel like they're both really beautiful. They are both really beautiful. But here's the other problem. Hannah just makes you think, oh, here's what it is. Y'all just think Hannah is going to choose the regular dude because she seems approachable. But she probably wants the 7-Eleven owner, too. Mm. You guys, yeah. she just she just exudes this, it, oh, it, I, I would choose the guy that works at, at a gas this station. Point, Hannah is probably dating Jake Gyllenhaal, for Christ's sake. She's on TikTok. Like, you never know. She's definitely famous. She's not in the mud anymore. So, but you, <laughs> you know. Do you do you get what I'm trying to say though that like it <laughs> Hannah just seems like the girl that's gonna be with the guy who works at 7 Eleven, whereas the the 7 Eleven princess is only gonna be with a guy who owns a Ritz Carlton? Um, wait, wait, wait. That's, that's Hannah, the difference. I never said Hannah would ever be with a worker at a 7 Eleven. Hannah's no, like but, with you know the but she the ironically, yeah. the Lebanese man is more likely to work at the 7 <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is it she just seems more approachable. Yeah. Which is what men do like. No, right. I mean, I think they're equally beautiful, honestly. It's not like I I I really truly do think they're equally Yeah, and beautiful. you know what? You're yeah. right, Chad. I do want to be the 7-Eleven queen. I don't want to be fucking around with catfish. <laughs> that yeah. that thing would eat me. If I, I love Lila, she was like he's going in. I love Lila. She was like, this bitch can build a house. She could provide for herself. Then she saw that big ass dress and she was like, fuck that. I want to be, I want to be the, the Lebanese princess. That's it. Yes. <laughs> I, I saw that she built a wooden house. Then I saw the Lebanese princess was in some fucking marble. And I was like, you know, the wooden house is nice and all. It, they, they, <laughs> marble in the thing, yeah. Listen, Here's I'm a, thing, uh, though. I may. Uh, is Go ahead. No, no, no. You go. You. I was saying literally nothing. Say, go here's ahead. <laughs> here's the bottom line. Now, all these guys in the chat. Oh, we like the we like Hannah. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. The difference is here, and I am bringing a red pill stereotype. But the how made up you? one. I know. How dare I? But the I'm made up kidding. one, like Samir, like whoever. Blah blah. blah they are more likely to go after the high the high guys, right? So your Tates your relativacies, your whatevers. Whereas Hannah is going to have high standards that very little men are going to meet, not because of money, but because she's raised by a dad that she gets along with that has values and has instilled them to her. And she literally doesn't necessarily need you. Does, does that make sense? And so That's she's true, more, yeah. if you really want to, if you really want to get down to the little nitty gritty of it all, mm -hmm. Hannah Barron is more high maintenance in that sense because she's going to make you work for it. She's not going to just going to sit down and be like, oh, you have money. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, you look like Brad Pitt. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's fine. No, she's going to make you work for it. You need to be a good man, maybe a Christian man, whatever her values are. Whereas women in general, not specifically, but in general, like Samira, like this Lebanese princess, blah, blah, are like, oh, you have money. Okay, it's fine. It's My fine. Here's the question That's, no one's asking. You know what I mean? too. Yeah. Here's the question no one's asking. Who the fuck do you think is better in bed? I would say Ooh. the Hannah, lady. I call I'd princess. say the lady that can wrestle a catfish. Uh, <laughs> you know, get her hands dirty. She knows than, how to. <laughs> you know, the lady in the princess cake dress. I'm sorry. I. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Samira's a freak. You never know. But I, yeah, Samira I has never yeah. well, given a blowjob to the extent that her, the sweat is dripping down the back of her legs. You know what I mean? Like in summer right. when you're hot. Yeah. Right. I, exactly. exactly. Just get, okay. I don't like this country bitch. But, it's, okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate for her. I, because it's I love it. <laughs> okay. I know Tugs was saying that, oh, you would just pick the rich guy because he could do that. But it's like. Well, what's wrong with the rich guy? He obviously Nothing. had to work hard to get to where he's at to be able to have the skill set. So why wouldn't he have good values? Why am I from the South like um, 
like the catfish lady and I'm, um, you know, basically with, I'm engaged to an impoverished comedian. Where, where, where did that come from? I, I can't build a house, but I could catch a catfish <laughs> with my hands probably. I'm just teasing you, Bisconti. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a, a bad thing to want the rich guy. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that as a generality, generality, is that a word? I don't know. Um, it is. The more high maintenance the girl, in general, the more they want a certain type of guy. And that doesn't mean it's bad or anything like that. True. But a girl like Hannah Barron, who is not rich, who's not wearing the fancy dresses, who's not doing this, who has a good time. She's rich. Like, well, I'll get in the you guys are insane. Blah, blah. Do you, no, but, she is rich. Do you guys not understand how much it costs to do those kind of things, what to have it? that kind of equipment? Lumber is expensive. Lumber is expensive. Is it her man? money? It might be. I don't know. I'm just saying. And her going family's off rich. And which is the very, hands. like, I ain't got nothing, but I built this with my, my own two hands. Right. You There's didn't nothing go wrong. <laughs> she's going to look, but my point is that she's going to look for whatever core values. The average whatever these other girls are don't necessarily always look for that they just want the status for the most part yeah. yes there are exceptions we could talk exceptions all day but as a general rule they look for the status and that's where the difference is so with a girl like hannah Barron, whether it's hannah herself who is who has money it's because she's building these houses and she's like blah blah or a girl like her she's going to have values she's going to have boundaries she's going to have rules she's going to have blah, blah, blah. with other these other women who are jealously hating on her because they know it which is why they're hating on her they're they're not they don't have necessarily those standards they're just like oh well he's pretty and he's rich and he takes care of me and he can afford well, my okay. ten thousand dollar month who was with. triggered by who right now hannah was not triggered by samira samira was triggered by yeah. Hannah, mm -hmm. and we all can. We all. I say this all the time. You show people who you are, but when you show them what you're triggered by, and yeah. I think Samira was triggered by her because it's like, wow, look how fucking hot she looks, sunburnt, with her fist down a cat <laughs> right. right. and she's fist. like not even really trying. But okay, but I, right, I don't think yeah. we should equate having money with like not being good or being like bad because no, here's, here's my no other point the, no one is a, here's my no other point that. when you say but, that hannah wants a guy with high status i think a guy with high status because he has good values and good status and good work ethic he's gonna also have money because when you have those things money right. comes to those people who have that kind of work hard work hard yeah. So, well, yeah. Well, William, it depends, though. Ranch, ranch cattle well, owners don't food. have that kind of money. You know what I mean? Like, it just depends on what you're looking for. But high status to me, a high value man is somebody who has good values and good core. Blah, blah, blah. But to other people, a high value man is somebody who screws a lot of chicks and has a shit ton of money. So or it just, just bones you, you know dick I mean? you down good. How about where yeah. that go? <laughs> he dicks you down yeah. good. I mean, yeah, yeah. maybe that's that. I made a response. I think. I think. I think. I think peak femininity mm -hmm. too. Maybe Hannah doesn't want to get married. I never wanted to well, get that's married. Fair. Be, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's not, it's it, your marriage or like a, another person shouldn't complete you. So uh, maybe she doesn't even want to. And I'm not saying marriage is bad. Obviously I'm engaged and getting married, but uh, <laughs> if uh, the catfish lady was like, you know what? I'm just good hanging out with my dad and my friends and, you know, drinking a Mountain Dew in the back of a truck. Right like but of course she doesn't she doesn't need a husband at that point no no what, what, who, no woman, no woman needs a husband i don't think some some, do. some, some, some women need husbands okay no, okay yeah i take <laughs> so that what back talking about excuse me some i don't husbands. need a husband i wanted <laughs> i wanted for some reason because uh, i'm mentally ill Gino God, I would love but... Hannah to come on this podcast. I want to be yeah. here. Yeah. Right, so here's her I'm response. volunteering myself. Hannah here. Barron responded to the ridiculous commentary about her on X. I think it is a classy response to a classless comment. It was I was a tomboy growing up. I think tomboys have an amazing potential to grow into strong and independent women from Sarah Fields. Ooh, let's listen to their response. Look how cute she is. I don't have a Twitter. I did at one point, but my account got removed for whatever reason. And I just hadn't got around to making another account. But apparently I'm trending on Twitter right now because some girl, hey Merle, Aww. some girl said that my accent should be illegal. Women shouldn't do manual labor. Oh, what else did she say? American women are basically men. And she just said that I was not feminine. 
Suck mm. my dick. And I would tell y'all this girl's name, <laughs> but I can't remember it because I don't have a clue who she is. So that should tell you how relevant this person is. Aww. But I just think it's hilarious because I grew up as the weird kid in high school who hunted and fished too much because back then it wasn't cool for women to hunt or fish or the whole country lifestyle. And I'm so proud of all the women in the outdoors now Aww. who are making that more cool or popular. So proud of us. I think we're doing great. But I've been helping dad build houses since I was 15. Aww. When I was a senior in high school, I taught kids how to weld in ag class. Aww. So I've done not manual labor. When I think of manual labor, I think of what my dad does. I'm nowhere near that. I just help as much as I can and I try and it's fun. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of blue collar women out there who are also feminine. I love her. And so I, I just think her. that you should embrace your own individuality. Thank you. you. Be yourself. And don't worry about what anybody else said, because these folks talking about me and think they're going to offend me. That ship sailed a long time ago. Water off <laughs> a duck's back. On my whole right? Water off a catfish's back. <laughs> well. So don't be scared yeah, to so build cute. your own box and don't try to fit in anybody else's. Be your own person and you'll be happier in the long run because of that. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about what anybody else has to say. Mm -hmm. I love you her. Know have a crazy. I love her. I, I bet she says her. the N word too. Oh, she's <laughs> <just great. laughs> you know what's crazy about this whole fiasco is there is an entire thing on TikTok. Some of the most popular videos on TikTok are like the asmr like fridge restocking videos people love yeah. those right but the they're other addicting. thing people love there are i love i love them I um do. the other yeah. thing people love are when the girlies are at home and usually it's a military spouse um because their husband's deployed but they are like i had um a weird energizing moment and i wanted to redo my whole kitchen and it's a video of them taking down the cabinets, sanding them, painting them, reinstalling them, drilling them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's literally what Hannah Brown is doing with her dad. It's, she just admitted herself. And if you know her, which I've watched her for a long time, she doesn't do everything. She just helps. And that's what she does. She like helps him drill the cabinets. She paints. She does these little things, the same exact videos, but those aren't a problem, but she's a problem. Right. Why? What's the difference? Because she has a, an accent. There is none. Rough and, and tumble. Like what? There's no difference. There's the same thing. Ugh. The southern Perfect. accent has always and forever been shit upon. Like mm -hmm. you're lesser than. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. what's so sad is yeah. what yeah. actually is so sad is this woman with everything. She owns. Uh, her father owns eighty five thousand Seven Elevens. Right. She has the, <laughs> the best of the best wedding. But right. this little girl holding a catfish really triggered her. She couldn't yeah. even enjoy her own fucking gorgeous wedding. She had to say, this is not feminine. She had to shit upon That this. wasn't her wedding, Chihonu. What's that? Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't her wedding. What was it? <laughs> yes, it was. It wasn't no, that was somebody else. No, that wasn't even her. <laughs> you guys. That wasn't her. That's not Samira. It's not? No, it's not. That's just a random Lebanese chick? <laughs> That's a random Lebanese oh, chick. Well, excuse me. I no, apologize. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> well, they're probably <laughs> watching that woman. woman. It's this random woman. No. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys know Samira is a weirdo okay i am on I'm, I'm saying she's a country weirdo but there <laughs> i thought she was samira was a chick in the dress standing up by itself no because that chick doesn't give a fuck about any of she doesn't even have to okay, her. Because I because that girl would be very sad samira. for it's that not chick samira. <laughs> oh my gosh damn well then who were samira we watching? is trying to say that look at this Lebanese chick. I'm also Lebanese, therefore we're oh. all hot. Here's an example of a super hot Lebanese chick. Okay. Okay. That would well. be like, you know what I mean? Like me posting like a Filipina chick, being like, oh my God, look at this. So Samir responds to Hannah's response video by saying, yes, make a video responding to an irrelevant critic and then oh whine God. about being bullied in high school for completely legitimate reasons. Oh my God! Stop being a petty bitch! Oh, I can't. It's oh, weird. You know wow. what? I don't think Samira should stop being a, a petty bitch because <gasps> being a petty bitch, she's great at gets it. her two hundred and thirty-three thousand followers. This is yeah. what she does. 
and it gets her a lot of followers. That's it. Also, Hannah's I, uh, got 1.5 million, bro. 1.5. And guess million. what? That's why she's picking on her because Hannah has. You think you think Samira would pick a random video about a bitch that has 10,000 Instagram followers? And be like, look no. at this. Bitch. No, because it would make because that girl she's famous. Here. She's gonna pick someone from the top, and a lot of hot girls, a lot of girls in general, do this. They'll pick someone that has more followers than them, and they'll <gasps> start some this shit. Really happened to be the other fucking day when some girl look at these some hater bitches in the comments. Why are women so nasty? I don't. Wow. No, this is nasty. I have to, I, I have to bring up push up saying she's not Lebanese. It's okay. definitely what? we have to stop saying. Lebanese. What is even yeah. true? He's been saying that for like an hour, and I, uh, you I, guys, I, yeah, this so. isn't nasty. This is called the games of the internet clout okay <laughs> and guess what the more it doesn't matter how nice of a fucking person you are okay that do you have 20 million followers on instagram people don't care <laughs> unless you have a certain amount of fucking followers because here's the truth hannah's sweet but we all thought she was a little sweeter when we found out she had 1.5 million followers on instagram if she was just a girl with a thousand instagram followers samira wouldn't even give a shit about her because that would make her more famous samira is picking on her because it's a bigger fish you you make the bigger fish a store. bigger catfish yes oh this is what she looks like oh that's a man that's a, this is a man. All right. I believe. The fact this, of the match, she the looks match. like a like a lady. Is that Gaga. a man? No, I'm just sorry. I'm being. She mean. looks like she like does if, look uh, like. Oh my god! Megan she's Fox the darker version of Lady Gaga. Fell down three flights of stairs. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's a lot about this guy. Not about the her. All right, that's her. She's on the right track, baby. She's she was born so aggressive. Way. You can tell by the way she talks. She's so good. But here's the thing. Samira could turn this all around. She just makes a video saying, hey, you guys, I watched all the videos you said, and I think you're right. And she could turn on the sweetness, and I would be cheer her on. And then she'd still have 233,000 followers, okay? And still That's be fine. Something. Yeah. Samira could decide she wants to go on a comedy tour tomorrow, and shit would get sold out, okay? The improv would be like, <laughs> here, Samira, come fucking sell tickets here. That's what would happen. Yes. You're right. Shit on the south. I I everyone below the Mason Dixon line, okay. and that's it. We it's almost owe <laughs> 78 7 Elevens oh. to be to be real feminine women. <laughs> Samira's wow, just mad I, her accent reminds people of 7 Eleven. <laughs> I don't know why I came up with 7 Eleven. It's not even long. A I don't know where we're going with it. <laughs> you guys thought that she was the 7 Eleven princess. I thought this she whole was time. the chick in the dress. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god! I mean, the chick in the dress who's getting married in that it was an example place. Okay. Yeah, that was an example. <laughs> because let's be real here. Okay, if she really was that chick in the dress, then I would be all one hundred percent on Tug's team. Who was like, she's not really happy. Yeah, because of course she wouldn't really um, be happy. Okay, because you know what I mean. Yes, you guys understand the, girl in the dress though. Is I don't know that gorgeous. she's gorgeous. My opinion she is still gorgeous. Stands. She's it's beautiful, still the same thing. It's still the same thing. She's like, this is happiness. This isn't. This is femininity. This isn't. Mm -hmm. it, it's just a ridiculous True. thing to do. And also, I don't like, I don't abide by just works. It's basically just a work to shit on some, some Southern girl who drags catfishes out of the mud because she's <laughs> um, authentic and has a bunch of followers. I don't abide by that. I'm like, if it's just a work for you to get more followers, then suck my dick to be feminine. Yeah. Excuse me. I mean, again, no, that's just stupid. I, I mean, and so anybody with a, anybody with a brain can see right through that. I feel, but yeah, she if not, funny. then you know that's not the game. But and this is a tweet, but it works for her. Her that's her brand, and it works. And yeah. you know what? She has two hundred thirty thousand followers who uh, are happy to have her be like that. Here's from our good friend Candace Horbox. Uh, I know so many men that are 100% into this, and I live in the South. Mm. This is like catnip. Not everyone wants a woman that looks like if you touch her, she might break. The high-maintenance materialistic true. vibe is far more unattractive from my understanding. Men, what are your thoughts? What do the men think? Of course it's more unattractive because they can't afford all that maintenance. Ah, true. And they probably don't give great blowjobs. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> and someone that will put their hand into a catfish is willing to get down dirty on a dick. Okay? Yeah. 
of that, as we all know, is low self-esteem. Yeah. Which really but good. have. No, you guys not. can get mad at me all you want, okay? I could sit here and say, yes, <clears throat> Hannah is way more hotter and she's way more attractive and everybody will choose her. Of course, of course you guys would all choose her, okay? But sometimes I just like to go on the opposite route to start some conversation. Are you and saying we're shit. mad? We're not like mad. You're not mad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not mad. No one's mad. I'm, 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 I'm in the chat. It's like, I'm my love, calm it. down. It Stop fun. it. You want me just to be a yes man and just say, oh, at what uh, what you guys all think? <laughs> no. If you don't know Lila likes to stir the shit pot by now, I can't help you. I eat I'm dogs, sorry. okay? Have you, have you seen <laughs> Muffin and Waffles? They're not even here anymore. No, I, I ate yeah, her a German Shepherd yeah. specifically for her to eat. It was muscular. You know, it was delicious. She loved Hannah it. Hannah probably has eaten a dog or two as well, you know? So <laughs> you may have that in common. You never know. <laughs> Deranged lunatic Chrissy, check out what happened to Hannah's dad. What happened to Hannah's dad? No, is he okay? That <gasps> fish ate him up. <laughs> what happened to his dad? Her dad. What happened to oh her diddy? God. What happened to her dad? Uh oh, did something horrible happen? It. Tugs. I found it. I'll post it in the private chat, but I'll also read it to you. So, it oh no, what happened? Um, um, this happened a while ago. He's apparently fine now, but in January of this year, uh, he broke his neck <laughs> and back. Falling from a tree. Not, what about his pussy and not crack? To laugh, but it's like no, everything else. His his p word and his crack are fine, but the neck and the back they're in a they're a hot mess. Luckily, you know, he's alive. The man works his entire life, his finger to the bone. Like yeah, this oh, we man. make everything. You know what man. though? The thing Dude, is, is this, like when you do this kind of oh work, it's only a matter of time. It really is only a matter. This of time. reminds me <laughs> of the time uh, I was at my friend Leslie's wedding from. I know her from college friend. I get a call because dad insisted on doing re-roofing the roof himself. He fell oh, off God. the roof. Yeah. Uh, his leg fell into the ladder as he was falling off the roof and his leg, his leg just fucking snapped. Like he <gasps> fucking <gasps> fell into the ladder and broke his leg falling. So this is, reminds me of that. <laughs> Look what happened to Artie Lang's dad. Oh. <laughs> falling from a tree stand. Oh my God. She's like, Diddy, are you all right? <laughs> Holy shit. He fell 18 to 20 feet to the ground. He walked yeah. 400 yards back, climbed a fence, got into his truck, and drove home. He's like, I'm fine, baby. Don't worry. Like, Jesus, God. Fractured two vertebrae in his neck and lower back. Bruised kidney. Whoa. Damn. Horrible. That's, That's a man. Picture. Holy cow. No kidding. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Holy okay. crap. You know what? But take some help when maybe you need it. How about this Karen? is well, come on. There's well, no here's need the thing, though. This is why we have Mexicans, Jeff. <laughs> I think oh, that tree God. stand, the thing is, is that tree stands in the woods. Like it's not. So we literally could not get help unless he. Damn. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> which is why he walked home, which is insane. Shit, but also, I'm fine. Well I'm done, fine. Buddy. Just well little, done. Just yeah, just a little fruit. banged oh, up. Man. I had a spill. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.